Hello everybody, Shift here again within our backpack bells run and today I'm gonna do a hundred percent force on the bow and arrow Belladonna shade build. This is the poison bow build. Today I'm gonna be one of those, it's gonna be one of those very rare times. Let's get a wooden buckler though early game. Uh, this is gonna be a very, very, very rare time where I uh, stick to the build a hundred percent. So the idea is I'm gonna get one lucky piggy just because and then every single else, other, every other item is going to 100% go into the idea of poison bows. So that means I will try to get four, five, six short bows. I will try to get four, five, six uh, poison flasks to combine them, the subclass item of poison, and then as many, I guess, five, six, seven bananas so that I can maintain my energy. That's it. That's literally it. And I'm going to get one lucky piggy, I guess, so that I can increase the chance of the poison thing going on. Uh, let's see how this is going to work out. Now, this here is... Well, we're supposed to have a bit more burst. They don't have healing. We don't have any healing either. So it's just whoever kills whoever. Nice. Very nice. We got the first one here. Very nice. That's that's pretty much so much so random. The first fight, where us getting the first fight win is extremely important. And we found our bow and arrow. Very nice. I would say we sell the wooden buckler, but it's a stupid idea. So I'm just gonna lock this down, and we're gonna continue. A cheap healing herb is gonna be guaranteed bought though, because that's obviously gonna give us free regen. I'm gonna sell it back. Anything that is on sale is allowed. Anything else, I'm not gonna buy ever, ever. So we're only gonna be rerolling heavy reroll into short bows and heavy reroll into poison flask and heavy reroll into bananas. Uh, as I said, the only exception is uh, things on sale while I don't have enough money to buy anything else. That's like the only exception to the rule here. Fatigue should top us more, but they have their low life ability. Nice, we almost lost, but still in the second win, this is gonna make a world of a difference. This is not my first rank trying this. This is, I would say, my fourth because i'm trying to do this harm percent force thing and the good thing with this build for the harm percent force is that it's an early game build like i can rush through this without needing to really calculate everything right i just roll into the bone arrows and i roll into the bananas that's it triple banana plus a pan against double banana plus a wooden buckler of course i have i would say more dps this has 3.4 dps i have 1.5 plus 1.5 3 plus 1.4 that's 4 4.4 i have 4. Point I'm sorry, I'm having hiccups. I have 4.4 DPS, they have 3.4 DPS. So we should be winning the DPS fight. They're winning the healing fight. Uh, but still, fatigue should help us more than them, I would say. Nice. You know what the game should have, by the way? The game should have the stats of these things somewhere. Or either here, 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 or down here, or in the corner. I don't know, somewhere. Like this says, you know, at the very top it says 2 to 3 damage in parentheses 1.5 DPS. 1 to 3 damage in parentheses 1.4 DPS. The same goes with this. It would be nice if there was a DPS counter here and a healing counter, right? DPS and hot healing per second or something counter. Uh, because these also like every 5 seconds heal for 4. So that means it heals you for 0 0.8 per second pretty much. So that would be awesome if the game had that. So you can easily do calculations, I would say. Roll into bow and arrow. Please, bow and arrow. Please, bow and arrow. Boom. No. Inventory space and banana. We're going to buy the banana, obviously. And the inventory space later. Uh, we're going away from how many comments are going to appear. So that's a bit unlucky, but it's okay. Uh, they have a wooden buckler. So that's only blocking wooden swords, by the way. The wooden buckler only blocks wooden swords. If I find the spike that is on sale, then I will buy it. Otherwise, I'm not buying anything. We're rolling into heavy force reroll into the items of choice. Uh, we're going to win here. Very nice. Uh, they do have a chili pepper and whatnot, but that is irrelevant. As they're a double weapon build, while I have a wooden buckler, we're winning these. Very nice. Very nice. First time I'm achieving this many wins this easily. Uh, let's go here. We'll buy this on sale because we're most likely not going to be able to reroll that heavy. Nice. I found my lucky piggy, so this is pretty much done. And dealt with. Here you go. Here you go. We got our lucky piggy. And we even are going to max the max life from that. I don't even care about the attack speed boost. Roll them. And we found our banana. Perfect. And another banana. Super perfect. And this is on sale. And as I said, sale uh, things on sale is are the only exception to the rule. And the reason uh, for that, obviously, is the fact that, um, that we can sell them back when the time comes. We're going to buy these two. Let's go. Piggy Bank is going to become lucky piggy, which is also good. And this mana here is relevant, but 10% attack speed boost on the bananas is relevant because from 4.5 they go to 4, uh, from 5 they go to 4.5. So it's a very sizable difference. Uh, yeah, look at the healing we're getting from the bananas. And I even have for region. I should out heal them. And they have double banana and a garlic, though. It's a race which we're losing. Yeah, it's a race we're losing very heavily, actually. This is lost. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go. This is my first loss throughout this whole fight. And one loss is given. And also, one loss is okay. Uh, reason, obviously, being that if I will regen anyway one health, right? Let's not forget that is a fact in this game. Uh, let's go something like this. I want to buy the... the I mean, we're going to reorganize anyway. Let's buy this too. Let's roll them. 
inventory space. This is actually good. The energy issue, the energy inventory space is good. As I said, I'm obvious, obviously, obviously, uh, we will need inventory space. So that's the one exception, like the one actual exception to think we buy. Uh, I definitely want to fit everything. I'm not really sure. I, I think the wooden sword also fits. Let's first fit that and reorganize that and reorganize that. The time has come to reorganize. Came back. I, I seem to really be struggling with this. I think I need one more room to actually fit the bananas because the shape's a bit weird. Like, if I can have one banana outside, then I can, like, fit this here. Like, I can see how you can make this work. Right? Like, you, it should be here, 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 and here or something. Uh, but right now, I seem to be struggling with this. Let's go. Uh, the pause of my talking. Okay, this guy has a healing. We most likely should lose here unless we burst them down like crazy. They do have vampirism. They do have uh, healing from this. They do have shielding. They do have a lot of shielding, actually. We're going to lose this. I don't think we're going to be able to control uh, 11 poison or whatever it's coming in. Yeah, like, it seems like we're equal, but the 16 poison at the back end here is burning us. Uh, so, we're going to lose. Now, it's okay, though. That's literally what we want to do. We want to become a poison build. Nice. We lost. Let's go next fight. Okay, we got this one. And let's roll into poison flask, please. Uh, inventory space, obviously. And the uh, poison flask, please. I didn't find one. Boom. Uh, inventory space even more. And a cheap item once again that continues maintaining the rule of uh, buy anything that seems to be uh, useful. Uh, I think we're good here. I can definitely maybe... Uh, nah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. We got some shielding. We're gonna get even more inventory space. I will need to find the poison flask though. That's extremely important. And I think they are epic. So maybe even customer cards are a thing. So I get the poison flasks. Yeah, I would assume that should be a thing. I would assume that I should try to go for epic items. Therefore, we should go flasks. We're gonna win this one. It seems like they... Yeah, they do have spikes. But it only affects my wooden sword specifically. And as you see, I'm not even losing life. So they don't DPS us enough. Which means that fatigue helps us. Whenever I see opponents not uh, DPSing us enough, fatigue is always the play. Very nice. We won. Yippee! And we got our subclasses. And the subclass is obviously going to be the Poison Ivan. I'm extremely lucky because it just so happens to be on sale. How lucky can somebody be? On inventory space. Let's roll him. On even more inventory space. And a banana. Obviously part of the build. Eh, oh, no, 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 no. Poison Flask is the item of choice. So definitely don't go away from that. And this is on sale. I said on sale items are allowed. Because the Jinx or Kill in general is really, really good, especially with anti luck. And let's now actually min max the poison ivy so we have. Um, we're not affected by poison pretty much, is what I would explain why poison ivy is important. I don't want to lose from this. I mean, I can literally min max this. Yeah, I need to reorganize here to actually fit this correctly. So give me a second. Okay, so this is ready. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we got what we wanted. So uh, let's go. Now this is min-max. This means you have a 5% per item that is nature item connected to this to resist a debuff, any debuff. So that's 40% debuff resistance. When I gain a spike, which I'm not really gaining, uh, inflict to poison. And then if, if ever the opponent reaches 18 poison, they will take 25% more damage for the rest of the game, which is obviously really important and good. So uh, let's go into this. Let's see how this is going to go. So they are having... This is the same build as us. They are a spikes build, which once again is an issue mainly for the wooden sword. But the wooden sword, the maximum damage you can take from spikes is how, many, how much damage you do. So I might do three. I will take back three. Even if they have 20 spikes, I'm still gonna only take up to three damage. And as you see, they're not even able to DPS us while I am able to DPS them. So uh, obviously, once again, fatigue is gonna help us more than it's helping them. <clears throat> as I am out healing them for sure. Now, once again, Spike is an issue. Uh, now that they do not have their ability of poison and less damage taken, it's over. Very nice. Hot kind what? Hot kind plan. Yeah, he has no plan is what he says. Nice, nice, nice. And boom, we got the item of choice, which is Belladonna's Shade. Uh, you know what? I would like the piggy bank to be touching the garlic. Yeah, so the garlic is 3% chance to remove one vampirism. This is going to increase it. This thing says chance-based effects are higher. And this thing here says that 70% chance to inflict to poison and a random debuff, which might be anything, by the way. Uh, let's go Jinx Torquilla, which I obviously want to be hitting pretty much everything. So that means it should be here. Do I want it to mainly be hitting the bows? Do I want to mainly be hitting... I don't even know. This is also a nature item, so here is the spot. Yep, it's still inside the zone. The zone... Uh, I think we're good, uh, are we? I would say this should go here and this should here. Therefore, the same thing, but we min-max the bananas a bit more. Uh, should I get another banana? Will I have uh, that much energy issues? I would say yes, in general. And also, yeah, I would say yes. And also, I'm thinking this should go here and this should flip like that. And now this banana can fit here. Nice, and it even gets a boost. Roll them. Inventory space. And I, I'm, I'm really thinking that customer card is a thing because the poison flask is epic, right? 
Let's see. The poison flask is epic. So I would say yes on customer card. A temporary, obviously, but let's go. But if you said you're only gonna buy, yeah, I mean, meh. welcome to the channel. <clears throat> I'm still sticking to the plan. I mean, these were most of them are on sale. This is the first thing that is out of the plan. But let's go. Mr. Struggles here is an issue for us because this is a fatigue fight. But as long as they don't get rid of the poison, which this has now an 80% chance to poison, if I can get to 18 poison. <clears throat> Then them taking 25% more damage from the poison ivy is gonna make a difference in fatigue. So even though we have more fatigue, yeah, now they have 20. Oh no, we lose, we lose, we lose, we lose, we lose. We, lose. <coughs> we had this though. We had this very much. Nice, we found another banana and even on sale. So even better. I'm obviously gonna buy that. Let's roll them. <coughs> and we found our boba. This is not the boat we're using. Roll them. Even more inventory space and energy and roll them. <coughs> and we found another short bow. Very nice, very nice. We definitely don't have energy issues, so uh, let's go. Oh, by the way, I wanted the garlic. I wanted the garlic to be... Eh, whatever, let's go. It's gonna stay there, who cares? <clears throat> Maybe I should also sell some things, like the region. But mana is irrelevant. Mana is only used for opponents maybe taking a buff away, and it's gonna be the mana. So this is the same build as us, but the spikes version. <clears throat> They're poisoning us more than what we are poisoning them for. Yeah, we lose. 36 crit there, that killed us. That crit there was a difference maker. It's okay though, it's okay. Down to two life. And uh, the build is supposed to be a go a long time now, but it's not really. Let's uh, get inventory and roll them. Give me a poison flask, please. Yes. Uh, here I would say <clears throat> we sell the blueberry as it doesn't do anything. Like it, it's it's not part of the build. It gives attacks with the bananas, but it's okay. Uh, let's buy this. And now it's very important for us to not die this very specific moment because after I don't want to be on death's door. That's the only reason why I sh I, I don't want to die. Let's bring the banana down here. Not that one though. I guess this one. So now we still have this min max. Very nice. This is also hitting everything. I think we're good. I think we're super good. If if I can survive this very turn, yeah, very high. If I can survive this very turn, then we're gonna win. This is a scaling steel gubert build, which is pretty bad, but it's a slow play build. So if I can get them to 18 poison, then I think that's going to be the difference maker. They are gaining regen, which is pretty bad, uh, but it's okay. I got my 18 poison, so now they take 25% more damage. Now they take 15% less, so it's like break even. They get a bunch of spikes, but that's irrelevant. They also get a bunch of vampirism, also a bit irrelevant. We won, and they had 23 poison, and now and now the build is officially a go. I got Narbo Naro, nice. We're going to sell the wound sword here. I'm gonna go with a short bow. I don't want to deal with specs anymore. Uh, let's roll them into... Uh, yeah, we know what we're gonna roll this into. Nice, let's go for another inventory space. Perfect, perfect. And now I definitely want the Lucky Piggy to be hitting both of those. So I'm just gonna do a little switch like that. And that's that. Nice, this is affecting both. So we have a very higher chance to poison them. And we found our Pestilence Poison Blast. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, herein comes the question, should I sell the customer card or should I sell the wooden buckler or should, just should I sell one of the healing herbs? I'm gonna say one of the healing herbs. Let's get another customer flask. Maybe even activate it here, bald nose, bow, and let's go. Nice, 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 nice. This is coming together. The difference is huge, by the way. <clears throat> Uh-oh, they have cleansing poison. Let's see, two belladonna shades against the cleansing poison. This is very bad for us, by the way. Uh, they, they should destroy us. Although, if I can get them to 18 poison, that's going to be a difference maker. I think they are countering us too much. If I blind them like crazy, maybe that's going to save us. Although they have a po fire spear, so that the blind doesn't even function. 31 poison, go. One more tick of poison, we win. One more tick of poison. Yes! That 51 damage on the poison there. Almost lost, but we won. And now I don't think we're going to lose again. I think we achieved peak strength. Uh, not peak strength, definitely not peak strength, but we achieved the triple shade, and the triple shade is a huge difference in comparison to a single one or a double one. Found attack speed? Ooh. Do I want attack speed back? I mean, yes, I do want attack speed back, but it doesn't fit. Only two single spotters fit. I guess it fits up here, but that is completely relevant. Yeah, this does not fit. Let's go. No, that's late. Go. Uh, yes. Ooh. Also, I didn't min-max this previous round. I think the wooden buckler should go, although this is blocking like 4 damage every once in a while. Uh, fact of the matter is, I would prefer throwing out the this thing. Is the fact of the matter. Yeah, let's throw that in. And let's take this, and I got another Belladonna Shade. And now let's actually not forget min-maxing this, so... Hmm... But yeah, I think we're good. Uh, this is min-maxed, so this is once again 40 shielding. This is also min-maxed, it's hitting two of these things. Uh, and the Jinxter killer is hitting both of those. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. 
Let's go. This is working. Now I have three Belladonna Shades, so we're even more powerful. This is anti-poison once again. Uh, we're fighting a lot of anti-poison, but we're already at 13 poison on them. At uh, the moment, they just hit 18, so now they take more damage than what they should have. We're already at 30 here. Yeah, they got immune, but that's irrelevant. 36. They are just getting ice. They don't get blind. No, they do get blind, but I think they have anti-43 poison. It's over. It's over, man. It's over. I think this is, if not the best, one of the best builds for the ranger. And we are pretty much done with that, too. With um, the inventory space is pretty much done. Let's also have these all lined up in a weird way where it looks nice. Uh, do I want more of these? No. I'm going to now stick Harmstead to the build. Another bow is here. This does not even need to crit. I don't care about it. Let's roll into more poison. I didn't roll it. Two coins. I'm rolling for two coiners now, which is in general not suggested. But I said I'm sticking to the build no matter what happens. So yeah, I'm really. Uh, let's see what my energy actually is going on with. Because if I hit zero energy, then I should throw sh some of the short bows out. Yeah, I do hit zero energy, so one of these short bows is gonna go out, as it's taken away of guaranteeing the Belladonna Shades attack. A lot of people commented on that the last time I played this build, so I, I'm gonna take one of the short bows out, as it's wasting energy for a non-Belladonna's hit, as we do have energy issues. That's the idea why I wanted to have all these. If 51 poison, you're gone, man. You're gone. You're gone. And obviously, we're gonna go into endless. As this build is super late game build anyway. And uh, this goes out. Uh, do I want another one? No, 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 no. We're sticking to exactly what I said we're gonna stick to. Even more than two space and a lucky glow. No, 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 no. Just stick to what I said. Just stick to us. And we found... This is po energy. No, 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 no. It's not a banana. And it's also not a poison. Even more energy. You know what? Max mana is important though. So I'm thinking we sell this and buy this. And uh, let's buy with a customer card too, so we find more... I would say yes on the customer card, so we find more epic things. Okay, let's go. Let's see if this energy is manageable with six bananas. If this is not manageable, then I'm gonna throw the short bow, the second short bow also out. I want to only... I want to make sure that we never ever ever run out of energy on the four Belladonna Shades. That's the main issue here. This guy has 23 poison and 468 life. What? They are anti-debuff. It's okay. We're getting the race here. They have also Phoenix. We're losing the race, but we're also getting ahead. Ah, no, we lost. It's okay. Fair enough. We're gonna lose some fights here and there. They also had the Burning Banner, so 3D region is literally countering our... I mean, it's not countering the 60 poison, but still, it's, it's definitely very powerful. Uh, none of these roll them. Uh, none of these roll them. I obviously would like to get some more poison flasks, but if the game doesn't provide, then it, it does not provide. I saw the customer card. I don't want it. We continue with the idea, only... Oh, we're, we're forcing, we're forcing. I saw the defense there. Uh, actually, I didn't see it, so now I saw it. Uh, I, we continue, we continue with the idea. Nope. Nope, where's the poison flask, man? Uh, once again, I would prefer max energy over the other thing, but I think we're good this time. I'm not finding poison flasks, which is pretty bad. But let's go on. Let's go on. I'm falling behind on the poison. Uh, oh, this is an infinite buffs build. They, oh, they didn't get the buff yet. They're gonna get it in a moment, obviously. Boom, they just got the buffs. And now they should destroy us. Yep, they destroyed us. And that was that. <laughs> and this is most likely a loss. Although, we achieved at least the purpose of getting the build. And this time, you see, one of the very few times where I'm not going out of my way. Uh, you know what? Let's buy this for a more epic appearing. Let's go. It's on sale even. So, it's still within the rules. Nope, I'm not getting what I want. Poison flask, poison flask. Poison flask, go, poison flask, nope. Poison flask, nope. Poison flask, yo. I tried to say it in a different accent, I don't know. Uh, this is... I think I can join this again. Because I got one more starting... No, I think that's gonna be a difference enough that I'm not gonna be able to uh, actually use that. I didn't even find bananas, am I right? Heroic potion could maybe fit. Uh, maybe I could have done a line with heroic potions, but I'm forcing it. I'm forcing the build, that's how it goes. And we're gonna lose this because this is also burst build. Any burst build kills us. And this is a super burst build. They're gonna hit us one more time, and one last time. And now we die. Yep, and death. That is that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. I mean, in my book, this was a win, because I literally did endless, and we just died one turn before the actual end. So, it is, it does count as a win. As you understand, the Belladonna Shade is very powerful between turn... Um, I would say 7 to... Because you get the, the Poison Knight, right? So from the turn 7 up to turn 10 to 12, I would say this is very powerful. And if you want to see why this is powerful, because today I was a bit unlucky. I got like 3 to 4 uh, Burst builds back to back. Burst destroyed this because it's a Poison build. Um, but yeah, if you want to see why this is... Uh, or like a proof that this is powerful, you can go ahead and see my, uh, see my gift run. Should A card should appear at the top right. 
that gift run, I literally, I think, had two or three Baladon Shade, and they were carrying me for five turns in a row. I was literally not even getting any upgraded items, and I was just getting carried by three Baladon Shades, or two. I'm not really sure. I don't remember exactly. Um, obviously, this could have been min-maxed a bit more, but I tried to stick to the build idea, and prove to you that sometimes it's just unluckiness right because there are a lot of videos where i'm just dying because of unluckiness and this is one of them where i at least were able to get into endless while trying to force the build do you prefer me trying to force a build like this even if it's a loss or do you prefer me uh, trying to win, like trying to showcase, oh, when you play ranked, then you should do this and this and this, right? Because right now, uh, you saw in the beginning of the video, I was like, we're going one, two, three items, that's it. Like, and, and the rest is just stuff. Like, this was just on sale, I guess. This was on sale. These here were just helping us get the build. Otherwise, like, I, I, I definitely spend more than, I would say... 50 coins in rerolls. So I, I, I threw away a lot of money trying to get this going. And by the way, we would have lost against this thing no matter what. Uh, I, I, I can guarantee you this is a 7 dragon build. This guy was doing the same thing as us, by the way. This guy was also being like, okay, I'm, I'm going to force harm send dragons. Maybe they found this on sale and then kept it forever. You know, this this really looks like exactly what I'm explaining right now. So, um, yeah, I do prefer this style, by the way. I do prefer the style of I'm going to go harm send in, all in on the right build. And even if I die... At least I showcased what it would look like if you were all in into a random build. In my opinion, that is better than being like, okay, let's try to win because I'm in Platinum. I did that yesterday, right? The, yesterday's Pyro build, if you go into that, you're going to see that because I'm in Diamond or a High Platinum, whatever the color, High Gold. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The ranking doesn't matter. But I, I'm pretty high rank, high, mid, high mid high ranked. I think it's mid high ranking. I don't know. Um, you're forced to go with wooden bucklers, you're forced to go with defensive stuff, you're forced to go with something defensive. Although, once again, you didn't really see my losses, but I can tell you, I tried to do the yesterday's build, the dragon build, like six times, and I died all the time because I am in uh, high ranking. While here in silver, as you see, this guy was able to do this. You're not able to do this normally, okay? Unless he sold all his items, which I'm obviously not aware of. Uh, so, Gian, look, if you just happen to be a viewer, you can comment down and tell me, did you achieve this? by forcing the build or did you achieve this by uh buying a bunch of random things and then selling them later and transitioning because every time i tried to force dragons i died before i got two dragons i, I got like one dragon i popped it and then one turn later i was dead because i was forcing it from the get-go like i was just getting inventory space setting the thing up maybe the burning blade like this guy has and then i died uh so while in silver a lot of people are doing this like me for example you're gonna find sift which is gonna be a half big build because of what i'm trying to do and then you will be able on yourself to also force i do enjoy this a lot more by the way i do enjoy low rank or low ranking a lot more because uh, to me the game is fun and not uh ranking in general i don't believe in in uh, ranking in any game whatsoever like even when i was playing league of legends back in the day me and my friends and my group were all like no we're not playing ranked man we're playing normal and we're making uh we're making five people in the middle and let's uh, burn down the tower so we're going everybody's going jungle let's not even lane and then we just gank them or whatever it was a very fun time and then ranking came along and then it's like okay i'm diamond and now i need to actually play perfectly and now i need to actually go within the meta and i don't know i i, I prefer more of the we go so much sideways that we beat the game by being two sideways, right? Like, you know, uh, five people in the middle and just... I, I don't know if this goes over here. I don't even know if there is any reason for me to explain what I'm explaining. But the same thing here. Like, I'm going full on into Belladonna Shade. I could have had a better build if I went for a double wooden buckler with double spikes. Would have been more survivable. If I went with double triple jinx or killer, we would have been more lucky. We could have been more powerful. But at the same time... The question is, would I have had four Belladonna Shades or would I have had two Belladonna Shades, right? Or maybe three. It would have been one less Belladonna Shade, for example, or it would have been whatever. Uh, you know, it, it's a bit hard to say, yeah, but Sift, after you ruled a bunch of times, you didn't find the poison, so you should have actually stick to the Jinxter Killers and the Bananas and whatever you found with, you would have won. Yeah, I know. But at the same time, it's from the position of knowledge, which you know because it already happened. But in hindsight, you know, in hindsight, that's the the position of knowledge is in hindsight. I'm sorry, it's you know translating this the, the words from Greek to English, and then it's like yeah, in hindsight, that's how you say that. Anyway, hope you guys um, enjoyed. I I definitely enjoyed this. We even got plus ranking, which I would prefer if I was bronze, by the way, uh, so I can have more fun. And the thing is. Unranked is the other side of the coin too. Uh, like you might say, yeah, well, you can try this unranked. You don't need to play ranked. Yeah, but the issue with unranked is that at the very, very late game, you uh, you fight against trash builds and then it's not fun because you have the most broken thing in the universe and then the opponent is like 
I don't know, uh, <laughs> five wooden swords and ten piggy banks or something, and then you're like, well, now my 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 I, I didn't get an awesome fight. That's the issue with unranked. While in ranked, you definitely fight awesome fights at the end. So um, I think ranked is the play, but I don't enjoy that uh, people are grinding. So you guys tell me. You guys tell me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I, I already expressed my opinion, so it's like contra. Like, do you disagree? Agree? Or I have a completely different point of view. And um, yeah, that's it. I even have a disagreement. By the way, this is a little parenthesis here. I, I had a disagreement with a friend of mine, I guess, a couple of days ago. Uh, uh, no, it would be two or three weeks where my point was literally that I don't enjoy rank because it's literally somebody else decides that, oh, we have the system in my game where if you're playing well, then you get the medals and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, but the, the, the idea of the games themselves, this is not... This is, this is like not sports, right? Especially this game is extremely RNG heavy. Obviously, min-maxing is a thing in this game. You can try to play correctly based on the meta. Obviously, people that are high masters and whatnot have an understanding of how you play the game. I do understand the aspect of ranked and getting medals or getting some kind of ranking makes sense in the context of you know what you're doing and here is proof. And what I'm saying is that I know that I know what I'm doing and I do not need a medal for that. If anything, I don't want to, um, uh, how's it called? I don't want to go through hoops to get the medal. I don't want to go through hoops of starting with shield and spikes to counter the early game and then mid game uh, get, I don't know, yeah, get a glowing crown, right? Where is this? Uh, mid game get a glowing crown because becoming immune for two seconds is extremely powerful against burst or I, I don't want to go through those hoops i don't want to go through the hoops of there is a meta and if i want to be the most powerful one then i need to go through the meta like i i don't enjoy that uh because like who cares about the metal right that's my opinion on this now i do understand that there is also the opinion of people want to have the medal and be able to uh, have definitive proof of actually knowing what you're doing it's not only what's in your mind it's also what is on paper right but i don't care about the paper to be honest like if in my mind i can project how i would win anyway and in my mind i have solved the meta then going through hoops and playing for five or ten hours doing the same thing i have already calculated works just to get the medal in itself Yes, that is bringing your theory into reality, which I am full on board with. But at the same time, it's wasting five times for a medal. So um, you are wasting real life time just to get proof of a concept you thought about within a game just because there is ranked. Well, if there wasn't ranked, you would not have gone through the hoops, right? That's my opinion. The, like the fact that ranked exists, it creates a game within the game that you can choose if you want to be part of. I hope this tracks, right? I hope what I'm saying tracks. And um, yeah, thought-provoking philosophy question here at the end. I used to do like philosophy questions in... What is it called? In uh, Magicraft. But some people enjoyed it. Some people were like, yo, bro, we're, we're here to watch a gameplay and you're talking about whatever. And I guess now it's philosophy questions based on gaming, I guess, theory. I don't know. You guys can talk about it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already... Did, done this thought talk or whatnot, you know, Kant <laughs> or uh, I don't know, uh, Nietzsche was talking about ranked games and he thought that it ever no, that was that would be Kant, Kant right? Kant would be like, if everybody was playing ranked, then how would the earth go, right? And I think that if everybody was playing ranked and everybody cared about ranking, then the game would be worse because then you would not be able to play fun builds. So, based on Kant's theory, uh, it's not a good idea that everybody wants to be playing rank, right? Right? I don't know. You can tell me. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.